of Mayor de Blasio and the city council. We're saying that the mayor must fire Bill Bratton and end Broken Windows policing. Okay, okay. All right? So for those who don't already know, Broken Windows policing uh, was best summed up by Frederick Douglass back in 1845 when he my said, man, man. the slave owner's plan was to whip for the smallest offenses to prevent the commission of large ones. That's the role that the NYPD serves in our communities. That's what they do. They go around arresting people over the most petty things, like jumping the turnstile, the number one arrest in New York City. And at the same time, the politicians, they go and they let killer cops walk free. We're saying that there needs to be an end to that. Our second demand is reparations for all victims and survivors of racist NYPD brutality and murder. To be paid out of the NYPD budget, not to be paid for the general fund, not to be taken away from the schools and from healthcare, but to be, to be paid out of the NYPD budget. Instead, you know, what we see is de Blasio increasing the number of cops, you know, 1,300 more cops, they just put on another $20 million spending free buying vests and helmets because we're so scared about the safety of the NYPD, but what about the safety of our communities that are being utilized by the NYPD? Speak, speak the truth. That's why our third demand is that the NYPD must be defunded and, and that money be reinvested in black and brown communities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The five and a half billion dollars annually that goes to the NYPD needs to go to our communities instead. And that could look like a lot of different things. That could look like education, like jobs, like healthcare, like mental health care. So uh, the reason that uh, that millions march that we put out the call and that we're so glad to see people gathering here and there's going to be a lot more gathered here for the rally in the evening is that we really want to put forward the message of police and prison abolition all right Hello. abolition i want you to say it with me abolition. abolition 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 because we know that the fact is that these racist nypd who originated as slave patrol are never going to be reformed into something good okay i think the idea that you know, sometimes you see some of these so-called liberal progressive politicians talk about restore trust in the police. They lie. What kind of, what, when are they talking about? They lie. When are they talking about? They're talking about, you know, bringing back fucking Bill Bratton, the NY, the Rudy Giuliani's commissioner, or restore trust in that era. Talking about restoring trust in the Jim Crow era. Not gonna restore happen. trust in the slave patrol era. There has Not never been happen. trust. And there never should have been trust. The police have always been here to oppress our community. That is the role that they play. Our group Millions March, we call for the abolition of police and prisons. We we wanted to, we invited many different groups and you're gonna see many of them this afternoon coming to give workshops, trainings and discussions. We wanna get more people plugged into the work that's already going on. We wanna, we wanna start to envision a world without the police. That's what this action and what this event is about. All right? That's why we're here. I just want to be clear about that with everyone because there's a lot of groups in the movement that might say, you know, that we might say some of the same words, we might say Black Lives Matter. But we didn't invite every group to participate in the planning and the organization of the workshops for that, for that reason because there's actually some really serious differences, all right? We're about abolition and I want everyone to know this. So, uh, so again, this afternoon, so there's going to be, we really just want everyone in the community to, to start building up these ties for just conversations to happen organically. So really encourage you all to just to speak with other folks who are in the space. There's going to be some more structured workshop discussions happening in the afternoon. And then uh, the big event today is going to be this rally at 6 p.m. We're going to have a lot of speakers respecting uh, union folks. A lot of folks will be coming after work. Um, so we hope that you're able to stick around uh, for all of that. Um, but uh, for now, we just wanted to let you know who we are let you know what we're about. I want to thank you all for coming. Really appreciate you. Um, we'll be setting up, we'll be having food and uh, you know, supplies, water, all these things distributed from down here a little bit later. Uh, you can let you know that there's some bathrooms, uh, the Starbucks, the library that you can use over on Murray Street. Uh, very important. If there's anything else that you need, uh, just please come and speak with us. Um, and for now, we just want to, um, of course, we can't. I wish that I was able to promise and guarantee everyone's safety. You know, at this event, but the fact is that we don't control the police. I mean, we don't control them in this park. We don't control them today. We also don't. Hey, nobody we know, said we know. nothing. They die. Get that's that right. straight. That's, nobody that's scared. Yeah, I ain't scared. Hey, nobody so afraid. Them them we are not afraid. And so that's exactly the, what we want to start. Uh, I mean, not start because the work has already started. But we want to start. We want to. We want to create space for conversation to have about how we can protect each other. Because we know the risk police are not going to do it. We know yeah, that they're not going to do it. We all have to be our own police. Thank you. We have, we have to protect our own community. Hey, yeah. nobody's scared. No, no, no. Get that straight right off the top. So just we are uh, not afraid. Very, very quickly, we're going to have a, 
Uh, we're gonna have. Uh,